Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can self host type out with Docploy. If you don't already have Docploy installed, then check out this video over here where I show you how to do that. Otherwise, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to create a new project here. I'm going to call this type out. Let's create this. Then create a service template. And here we're going to find the type out template. Click create, confirm. Okay, now let's open this up. Click here. All right. So now, uh, first thing we want to do is we want to go down here. And we see how we have two apps. Typepot is made up of two apps. One is the builder and the viewer. And here's the versioning of the app. So we want the latest version. So we change this version number to latest. And down here as well. And then let's save this. Now let's go and set up the domains. So go to domains here and change this to our own domains. Now the default is to use type bot for the builder and bot for the viewer, but you can use whatever you want. Bot. Com. And then let's enable HTTPS. Update that. Now let's go to the second one. Here we're going to call it bot.digispruce.com and enable HTTPS update. All right. Now we're going to go to our uh, the name registrar and we're going to update some settings here. So uh, you can see here that I already have a wildcard here, which works for me. Now, if you don't have this option, it doesn't work for you. You need to add the record specifically for each of the apps. So for this one, we're going to call this typebot. Use the same IP address. Save. Then we're also going to add one for the second app, bot, and the same IP address and save. All right, now let's go back to Docploy. All right, now in order to use the app, we're gonna to need to set up an authentication method so we can log in. There are different methods that you can find here in the doc. So you got the Google Auth and email, etc. Now the easiest one I found is GitHub. So that's what I'm gonna use it for this video. So let's go to your GitHub account. If you don't have one, create one. And up here we go to settings. And then we click on, go down here, developer settings, OAuth apps, register a new application. So I'm just going to call this application typebot. And the homepage URL is going to be typebot.digispruce.com. The same name as typebot, uh, not the viewer, but the builder app, typebot.digispruce.com. And then we're going to copy this authorization callback URL the same. Yes, we're going to also add to, have to add the protocol here. So HTTPS, do that here as well. HTTPS. And then let's go back in the configuration and we're going to choose, take this part here. Copy this and paste this at the end down here. Register application. All right. Now let's go back to Docploy and go to environment. And here we're going to need to add two environment variables. So the first one is going to be GitHub client ID. Let's paste this equal sign. And the other one is GitHub client secrets. So let's paste that there as well. Now for the client ID, Go back here, we choose this client ID here, just the client ID. So copy this, paste that here, and then we're going to generate a new client secret by clicking here, copying this, going back here, client secret, and click on save. All right, now we're going to have to add this in the configuration and the compose file here. 
So let's go down here and enter. That's right, GitHub client ID, colon, like so. And then add GitHub client secret. Copy this. All right, now we're going to copy these two and add them down here to the second app as well. Like so. And save. All right, now all that's left is to deploy the application. Let's click on deploy here. Yes. Great. Now, Click on the mains here and open type out builder. It doesn't work yet. Okay, might have to wait a while. And now it works. Okay, uh, let's do sign up for free. Continue with GitHub. All right, here's an issue. Uh, I forgot about this. Let's go back to Docploy and environment. And here I forgot to change. Uh, I forgot to change the URLs here. So we're gonna take our URLs that we got from. Uh, uh, is it? Yeah, these URLs: typepathegspruce.com and bot.egspruce.com. So the typepath builder and typepath viewer. So I'm gonna add the typepath builder URL here, which in my case is. Typepot digibruce.com and then the viewer here. Pot.digispruce.com. Save this. And now we're gonna have to redeploy this. So let's redeploy this. Stop this first. And now I'm gonna redeploy it. All right, now let's try this again. Gonna have to wait a while. All right, now let's try signing up again. Continue with GitHub. All right, I think I found the issue why it does not work. Uh, I should have added an S here, HTTPS, because it needs to use HTTPS for the authentications. Now we would also want to add our own encryption key. So you go to the doc documentation here, you can take this command and execute it in your terminal. You will get an encryption key. Copy this, put this here. And then you also have your email. You might want to change that to your own email, admin email. Now, as far as these are concerned here, these are for email authentication. So if you're not gonna use that, don't care about this. And the rest is okay. So. Let's save this and redeploy the application. Now deploy it. All right, now let's try it out. Okay, you're gonna have to wait a little bit. Let's try signing in again. Now it works. So now you can just start creating your bots. So change our templates here and everything. So hope you find this video valuable. If you did, please like, support the channel, subscribe, and I hope to see you in another video. Take care.